Hello, esteemed viewers. Welcome back to our prestigious channel, where we delve into the fascinating world of the British monarchy. It's a pleasure to have you all here, and to our newcomers, a heartfelt welcome to our regal community. If you haven't subscribed yet, we kindly ask you to hit that button and show your appreciation by giving this video a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for subscribing and liking. Today, we have an enthralling topic to explore, the plans of senior royals for an extensive two-year worldwide tour in what experts are calling a soft democracy blitz. Recent trips of senior royals to the Commonwealth have sometimes been marred by divisions rather than unity, as evidenced by a trip to the Caribbean last year, following Barbados' decision to remove the then-queen as head of state. Write in the comments what you think about this. Nevertheless, the king and queen, along with the prince and princess of Wales, are determined to thaw relations with Commonwealth countries considering their own paths. As they prepare for these historic tours, there is a possibility that the Wales' three charming children, George, Charlotte, and Louis, might join them, adding a touch of warmth and appeal to the visits. Despite the glacial pace of government approvals, state visits are back in business, paving the way for the king and queen to embark on an array of engagements, including a visit to France, which had to be rescheduled due to unforeseen circumstances earlier this year. Additionally, the King is planning a visit to Samoa for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, ensuring the continuity of royal engagement with the Commonwealth nations. Thanks for subscribing and liking. While this tour is undoubtedly significant, there has been a noticeable shift over the past decades, with an increasing number of Commonwealth countries opting to walk away from the late Queen Elizabeth I's reign, when she was the head of state for 31 nations. Today, only 14 countries retain this connection, and there are indications that some may choose to break away. The recent decision by the Australian state of Victoria to relinquish hosting the Commonwealth Games due to escalating costs is one such example. Write in the comments what you think about this. As we explore these intriguing developments, we eagerly await your opinions in the comments section below. Your insights and perspectives are highly valued, and we encourage you to share your thoughts on this evolving landscape. And at the end of the video, I ask you to subscribe and like. Your support is paramount to us. Thank you for joining us in this enthralling exploration of royal plans and the evolving dynamics of the Commonwealth. Until our next royal rendezvous, take care, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you.